Okay, hello guys, welcome, hope you're all having a fantastic day, hope your weekend was good and filled with some very good RNG, out of my friends and out of my guild I have had quite a few people actually hit a few pins, and from what I've seen in the discords, uh, people have been hitting pin necklaces like Leighton's and Ogres quite often, so I'm assuming it's a very good weekend for enhancing, however I'm not going to try anything like that. So. Just to get into the video real quick, and just to explain something to you guys, I'm gonna start a new series every single weekend. No wait, let me rephrase that actually. I'm gonna start a new series right now that will be on every single weekend. So, what that means is, I'm gonna call it Treasure Hunter Weekends. So, I'm gonna go ahead and grind at, let's say, Blood Wolves, as you guys can see in the background. I'm gonna grind there for five hours six hours every saturday and sunday and i'm gonna see if i can get the treasure pieces why the treasure pieces well they are very scarce number one so it's not like the series is going to end very soon there's a lot of them to get i know about a few people that actually have been trying to get them for a very long time now including myself uh, especially the Blood Wolf piece. I have no treasure items except for one of the compass pieces that dropped from Hestria. I believe it was the Vodkin one, I think, or the Kalquish. I'm not sure. Uh, it was the smaller mob that isn't the Alton. That's the piece I got from uh, Hestria. So that is very good. So luckily we don't have found that piece, but that's what I'm going to do over the weekends. Now it's just going to be a chill grind. It's not going to be my weekly uploads. That's going to be like grind spot results, uh, you can pull X amount of trash out of this, etc, etc. What I'll do is, I'll tr do my absolute best to not sell the items that I get out of these spots, and at the end, I'll show a screenshot of the six hours that I grinded all of the loot I've gotten, and then from there on out, we'll do a total, total? Mm. <laughs> a total calculation of trash loot and whatnot at the end when the actual item drops so of course these items like i said they're all ridiculously scarce um for blood wolves it is the hp potion pot piece um which is the infinite potion if you guys didn't know and it's the ash moon kag tunak i think it's called um basically it's yeah one of the three items that we need to go and farm uh, the rest is just materials that you need to spend to get the other items so First of all, it's going to be Blood Wolves. We're going to be doing Blood Wolves for who knows how long. After we've done at Blood Wolves, we'll go to Shuriken maybe or Renoros, depending on how we feel and what we want to do. Uh, I've heard Shuriken is quite generous with a drop because most mobs actually drop a day. And Renoros has two mobs, I think. It's the Guardian and the Chaser. If I'm not mistaken, those are the two that can drop a day. Other Blood Wolves is a little bit more tricky and a little bit more contested due to the fact that it is only the Executioner and once in a while when the Cagtum God, I think it's the God or the Warden, um, spawns. Uh, he spawns in with a bunch of mobs who you maybe saw it earlier in the video. I think he also has a chance to drop it. I've not confirmed this myself. I do not know if there's any videos up on it. But uh, from what I've heard and from what people have actually said on the internet, he can also drop that piece but that's just what we're going to be doing on the weekend uh, i still want to keep my weekly uploads to grind spot results and class reviews and stuff like that i think that's a very good thing especially for people who work during the day come home and they just want to kind of grind chill and grind and just listen to something uh, like myself i can't really grind without any noise in my ears so i need something playing in the background and that's a good fella so yeah, that is the idea. I don't know if you guys have any different ideas. I might also start a guide type thing for life skilling. Um, I know how to do all the life skills. I know how to do them efficiently. I just never really covered it because that's not my forte in Black Desert. However, I do know that people actually struggle with, uh, let's say, farming. Because people are unaware of how to actually start farming. What's the best things to plant and grow how to get your energy up, etc, etc. So, I might actually re restart that guide. I actually have a video up on it for gathering. But uh, that one is a little bit old. It was when Logia first released on console. And yeah, that is all. I don't have much to say today. 
all that I've said is basically just what I wanted to do. And thank you all once again for the continuous support on the videos. It's absolutely phenomenal. I have seen some people being really salty in the comment section due to Corsair pulling decent amounts of trash and then they compare Corsair to different classes like Valk or whatever the case might be. And it's a fair comment, however, Corsair is still new, so she's going to change a lot. But uh, I'll stop rambling. <laughs> I'm just getting on and on with the ramble right now. Uh, apologies for yesterday for not upload. I kind of got busy IRL and didn't get around to uploading. I wanted to do, do this video, but my Sony Vegas is also acting up a little bit where I couldn't hear any audio and I need to hear audio. But yeah, that is it. Thank you all for watching. I hope that you guys look forward to the treasure hunt the weekends. Hopefully the pieces drop quite frequently. I hope so. That will be very nice. Uh, it will help with the motivation and help to keep things rolling. But yeah, thank you all again for the support. I really do appreciate it. Hope you all have a fantastic night. May RNG be good to you. Thank you all once again. Peace out.